Hello and welcome to this video and to another slightly hectic weekend for Pete and myself. Yesterday we were out house hunting, trying to find somewhere to live. Semi successful I guess. We saw lots of places. But today we are, well this evening we're going to go and see the Red Hot Chili Peppers which was Pete's Christmas present from me. I will change. I am in comfy toothpaste ridden clothing. I couldn't be bothered to put on proper clothes at the moment. As we need to do a few things beforehand, we need to start packing, we need to start looking at stuff. So that is what we're going to be doing and then later this afternoon, evening, we'll head over to the Olympic Park ready for Red Hot Chili Peppers later. Are you excited? Tried to get tickets for them when I was a kid. No. Didn't so, yeah, looking forward to it. I am, but I'm also really not in the mood today. But we'll get there, we'll perk up. Uh, so, we've been doing um, a bunch of you know, life admin, boring things, food shopping, and that. And now we're having our dinner at lunchtime because of said gig. So, we've decided to uh, carb ourselves up. Yes, you can judge the portion size. Um, we've, it's his fault he does them. Give you too many chitrizes, I've got loads like none. Take too many chitrizes. I'm lucky. Take them one of your chitrizes. Chitrizes either. So we thought we'd curb ourselves up before we go to the gig. Because I assume there isn't going to be that great a uh, selection of food later. But that's what we're doing, and then we need to pack something, a box of something. Right, we're due to move in about a month. I don't know if I've told you that, but we're due to move in about a month. So we really need to start packing things up. So you know how I banged on about these plastic boxes for the wedding? Now we're going to utilise them for moving. Um, so I'm going to go and take one to the bathroom and start there because that feels like an easy place to do it and if we need anything, we can easily get it out of these boxes rather than a cardboard bun that we would sell a tape up. Uncovered, done. Box, relatively full. Things are out of date or never been used. So I'm going to tackle that one. Now, nah. I need you to settle an argument. Not an argument, a discussion we're having. So I, on a trip, will come back and Thanks for that, Pete. And empty my wash bag. And then each time I go away, I put the things in that I need for that time that I'm going away. Pete here just has a whole heap of stuff in his wash bag that he doesn't need, like three toothbrushes. And that, that's the extent of your... Uh... No, no, there's more than that. There's empty packets. There's. This is the first time since he got that wash bag that he's emptied it. So... Please tell me in the comments below. Am I right or is Pete right? Are you supposed to just shove everything in out as and when or do you empty it and then restart again with each trip? Because my thought is in theory you're supposed to be using the stuff that's in the wash bag. That's why you're taking it with you so that you don't have excess weight that you don't need. Comments down below. Thank you. Bathroom done other than the stuff that we like use on a daily basis. See, I told you that would be easy. Right, this is not the look I was hoping for, but I literally cannot find anything else to wear, which seems to be a common theme at the moment and is really getting on my nerves. But that is another rant for another time, because we are running late. So, we're heading off to the Chili Peppers gig. I'm not going to take my camera, partly because I don't have space in my bag, and partly because I don't want it to get ruined. So, I will insert clips now of said gig, but they will all come from Pete's phone, probably. So, catch you in a bit.
several days later, but we never came in to say how the gig was. And as it was your Christmas present, over to you. I'll start with the negative and I'll go to the positive. Negative was I don't understand why ASAP Rocky was the... No, I don't get that either. Was the, like, um... Because no one in the crowd knew his songs at all. There was like three there's, people there's like, singing what, along to 80, like one song. 80,000 people there or something. And, you don't and, know how big it is. And he didn't get the crowd going for any of his songs. No. Um, you did say he had a good entrance though. His entrance was good actually, to be fair. Yeah, that was good. There was this like massive blow up thing and um, yeah. like, which I quite, I thought it was quite cool, the blow up thing. And then there's people working on it and he was one of the workers, which I thought was quite cool. But yeah, uh, anyway, other than that, the Red Hot Chili Peppers were fantastic. Really good. Loved it. <laughs> yeah. There was only a couple of songs I didn't know from the newer ones, but it was most I knew like vast majority and so did the crowd, so it was really good. Yeah, the crowd itself seemed to have um I was a bit worried that it might be a bit pushy and a bit no. mosh pity. Well maybe if you go closer, but yeah. um, we were kind of far back I guess. But no, everyone around us was pretty happy. Um obviously you get pushed whereas people are trying to get to and from places but that's just standard in gigs um, yeah I enjoyed it I'm not a huge Red Hot Chili Peppers fan but I enjoyed it they played the ones I liked so lots of people were upset that they didn't play Under the Bridge yeah they played enough good ones yeah um, so there you go that is the end of the video so if you've enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up if you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye!